What's up guys, Nika Detour here. I got our six dash here up in the bench right now. I'm about to pull that barrel off and put our fire forming barrel on so we go get some fresh brass and save the barrel life on our current barrel for the race gun. Let's get to it. All right, the only thing we gotta do before we rip that barrel out, put our fire forming barrel in, is take our shroud, scope, take it out of the chassis. All we really need is a set of fixed sticks. That's all there is to it. We have just basic cardboard off a postal box. We have our 21st century barrel vise. Simple as that. Wrap around the barrel, put it in there, clamp it down. I use the impact to speed things up a little bit. And then when I get fine tooth, I use a three quarters inch wrench. Let's get after it. All right, so you guys can check it out. We got the vise all tightened down here. Thanks for a handy dandy three quarter inch wrench. Good old trusty Milwaukee. Let's tighten down. We're going to take our impact precision action wrench of death. With a half inch breaker bar. Bust this bad dog loose. We got our action off pretty easy just make sure you guys have a good breaker bar a good vice to help you kind of lean on that break that action loose so go ahead and inspect it check the face I want to make sure it's clean at this point in time and we don't have any overspray uh, anti seas anything like that because that's friction on the face and that can cause difference in torque settings the only place you want anti seas is inside on the threads so go ahead and make sure you don't have any burrs any lube anything weird on the face of your action inspect it I mean it's Impact precision, we ain't gonna find a problem. Ah! So, action's all squared away, ready to go, nice and clean. We'll go ahead, pull out our da -da -da, fire former barrel. So, my old Max barrel has 2100 ish rounds on it. Um, I like to pull them early just because I'm traveling to the national level matches. And roughly, I mean, if you're paying every cent along the way to do that, that's gonna, that's gonna cost us $1,500 between travel. Hotel, food, ammo, match fee, and if you're traveling that far, paying that much money, you want to do good. So showing up with a maybe, maybe not shout out barrel isn't worth it to me. So I keep a good fire former barrel when I need it. I can go beat the snot out of it. And I don't care because I have a perfect match season barrel ready to go. Let's go ahead and spin this one on. Mm. All right. We got the dashy barrel, the fire former barrel, all chucked mm -hmm. up already because... You guys really didn't need to see me do that again and struggle through that. <laughs> so, we got all chucked up. Got a little good old Andy C's album. Put just the dabble do you on the threads. And our foot pounds, torque wrench. So, I'm going to go ahead and dial mine up to 100 foot pounds. And I'll walk you through the rest of it when we get there. All right. We got everything clamped down by our barrel vise. Fire form barrels on. Impact action's ready to go. Got our freaking torque wrench on. Go ahead and torque it down. Torque, not twerk. Freaking weirdos. So, easy enough. Let's lean on it. Wait for it to click. And we know we're at 100 foot pounds. Eat some more Wheaties. There we go. 100 foot pounds. Ready to go shoot. So, let's go ahead and put this bad dog back together. Take it out to the range. Start fire forming. See you there.
that's it. The old six dashers up and ready to rock. It's got its new tripod of death on it. Ah. And we got our fire forming barrel on it, ready to rock. So we're gonna go out, hit the range, burn up a bunch of that brass, get ready, get it formed for dasher, and start making it rain. One thing I do like about this whole fire forming thing is it's a mandatory practice, right? I have to make the brass in order to have dasher brass to go shoot in competitions and whatnot. So I'm literally required to go on practice instead of, ah, I got ammo, I got to conserve it. No, I have to go shoot. I have to go practice in order to get the ammo I need. So some people are like, oh, I hate fire farming, this and that. It's not that bad. It's easy, freaking a little stiff bolt clothes when I jam them. Other than that, it's mandatory practice. And I felt personally, it made me a better shooter because I actually got out there and pulled the trigger way more times with live rounds. I don't know. We'll see how much better I get when I keep doing it. No look Thursday, baby. Ha, 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 ha.